This is going to be a video tutorial on how to create a dark mode button on a web page using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let me jump over to my web page here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I've got a little uh, web page set up here and I'll just be creating the top part of it but you can add it in on any website. I have a button up here which if I click on it, it changes the website to dark mode. If I click on it again, it changes it to light mode. It's very easy to do. I have a separate tutorial on how to add a three row picture column and how, how to add uneven columns like I have here, but I'll just be concentrating on this upper part on ad adding this button to a website. Let me jump over to my desktop here. Okay, I'm on my desktop now. I'm gonna create a folder here. I'm gonna right click, go down to new, over to folder. I'm just going to name it test. I'm going to hit enter. Now inside of this folder I'm going to create, I'm going to open this folder and I'm going to create two more folders. I'm going to right click, go down to new, over to folder. I'm going to call this one CSS. I'm going to hit enter to create it. Now I'm going to create another folder and I'm just going to name this one JS. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to jump over to VS Code and I'm going to locate that folder. I'm going to go up to File, down to Open Folder. Now I'm going to find my folder. I named it Test. It's right here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click on Select Folder. Now I'm going to create three files, an HTML file, a CSS file, and a JavaScript file. I'm going to go up to File, down to New File, I'm going to create my HTML file. I'm going to go up to File, down to Save As, and I'm just going to name it index.html. I'm going to hit Enter, or I'm going to hit Save. Now I'm going to create my CSS file. I'm going to go back up to File, down to New File. Now I'm going to save this as a CSS file. I'm going to go back to File, down to save as and I'm just going to call it style.css and before I hit save I'm going to double click on my CSS folder here because I want to place this uh, CSS file in the CSS folder now I'm inside my CSS folder I'm going to hit save now I'm going to create my JavaScript file I'm going to go up to file down to new file now I'm going to save it as a JavaScript file. I'm going to go back to File, down to Save As, and I'm going to call this script.js. And I want to save this in my JS file, so I'm going to click on Test up here. I'm going to back up. I'm going to double click on my JS file that I created, and I'm going to click on Save. Now if I look at my folder, I'm going to open back up my folder here, and as you can see I have an index.html uh, file. If I double click on my JS folder, there's my JavaScript file, script.js, and if I click on, double click on my uh, CSS folder, there's my style.css file. Now I need to connect my uh, CSS file and my JavaScript file to my HTML file. I'm going to go back to my HTML file. First thing I'm going to do is create my boilerplate. I'm going to do an exclamation point and then you can either click on the top wrench or hit the tab key and there's my HTML boilerplate. I'm going to place my CSS file right above the uh, opening and closing title tags here. I'm going to click down here. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to type link and then I'm going to click on the link colon CSS. Now the only thing I need to do, being my CSS file is in a folder named CSS, I'm going to put my cursor right in front of the S on style. I'm going to type CSS, name of my folder, and then forward slash, and then the name of my file is style.css. If I put my cursor over that style.css, and that follow link appears, 
I'll click on the follow link and it'll take me to my CSS file. It is connected. Now I'm going to go back to my HTML file and now I need to connect my JavaScript file. I'm going to click in my body area. I'm going to type script and now inside of my opening script tag I'm going to put my cursor right after the T. I'm going to make a space and I'm going to type my source src equals double quotations and in between those double quotations I'm going to type the location of my JavaScript file. It is in a folder named JS. Then I'll do a forward slash and then my, the name of my uh, the name of my JavaScript file is script.js. Now if I put my mouse cursor over that script.js and I click on the follow link, it will take me to my JavaScript file. It is connected. Now I am going to jump back over to my HTML file and I'll start coding on that. Now I'm going to place my cursor right after the opening body tag and I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to create an H1 and I'm going to type how to create a and I'm going to create a break here and then I'm going to type light slash forward slash how to create a light forward slash dark mode toggle button now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that opening, or at the end of that closing H1 tag. I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to create a button. Now in the opening button tag, I'm going to place my cursor right after the end. I'm going to create a space, and I'm going to type on click equals. Double quotations and I'm going to call it uh, dark, fun dark function. I'm going to capitalize the F. Then I'm going to create some parentheses and then after my between my opening and closing button tags I'm going to put my cursor in there and I'm going to type the text that's going to be on the button light are dark mode. Now I'm going to put my cursor after the end of the closing button tag. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm just going to create a, an H5 and I'm going to type click the button above to toggle between light and dark mode. Now I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to go down to Save All, make sure I have everything saved. Then I'm going to jump over to my style.css file. And in here I'm going to do a body, space, curly brackets. I'm going to hit Enter to separate my curly brackets, and I'm going to text align to the center. Text align, center. I'm going to put my cursor after the uh, semicolon there, hit enter. I'm going to give it a font, font size of 30 pixels. Font size 30 pixels. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that closing bracket there. I'm going to hit enter twice and I'm going to call on my uh, light dark class, period. Light, whoops slash dark space curly brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets and I'm going to give it a background color of black. Background color 
black. I'm going to put my cursor after that semicolon, hit enter, and I want to make my text color white. This is for the dark mode. Color, colon, white, semicolon. And that's all the CSS that's needed. I'm going to go up to File, down to Save All. Now I'm going to jump over to my JavaScript file. And I am going to create a function. And I'm going to call my function a dark function. And I'm going to make some parentheses here. I'm going to put my cursor after that last parenthesis, make a space, and then I'm going to add some curly brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets. I'm going to type var, var element space equals document.body. I'm going to do a semicolon here. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line. I'm going to type element.classless.toggle. I'm going to make some parentheses and then I'm going to make some double quotations inside those parentheses and I'm going to call on my light dark class. Light dash dark. And then at the end of this I'm going to make a semicolon. And now I'm going to go back to file, make sure I have everything saved. I'm going to click on save all. Now I'm going to go back to my folder. I'm going to double click on the index.html file. There's what I've created. If I click on the uh, light dark mode button, as you can see, it changes to dark mode. Click on it again, changes the light, click on it again, dark mode. Changes uh, dark mode, changes the background to black and the text to white. If I click on it again, the background is white and the text is black. But that's how to create a light or dark mode button on a website. Thanks for watching.